Welcome to this video manuscript for the journal Clinical Anatomy titled Google Glass Ultrasound and Palpation The Anatomy Teacher of the Future. My name is Dr. Brian Benninger. I'm a professor and the executive director of the Medical Anatomy Center at Comp Northwest here in Lebanon, Oregon, which is part of Western University of Health Sciences. And on my left here is our volunteer patient, Alex Wertheimer. The objective of this study was to demonstrate the integration of glass, which I currently have on, images generated from a novel ultrasound finger probe, which I'm currently wearing on my index finger, that is connected with a Fukuda Denshi ultrasound system, during palpation to see if surface anatomy and both static and dynamic stereostructural anatomy could be identified and learned by a first-year anatomy student. Viewers will know that the majority of anatomy courses taught today at medical and dental schools consist of didactic lectures and, if fortunate, include human dissection lab. The didactic aspect often requires memorizing enormous numbers of uh, tables and lists and words from PowerPoints and in the lab identifying a single structure with its intimate structures often or abnormally moved away or removed accompanied by a first order question. Surface and imaging anatomy is at best briefly taught and is not the predominant focus. However, upon completing the course, all of us know and realize that the students will be exposed to their patient's surface anatomy and often their imaging. Few will get to appreciate anatomy during surgical procedures. Therefore, there appears to be a need for technology to bring in the anatomy teacher of the future, at least from the point of view of highlighting surface and the imaging uh, anatomy. As part of the lab experience, this research is investigating if the dissection experience could project into learning static and dynamic stereostructural anatomy as seen in ultrasound imaging, which I and others believe is the visual stethoscope into the human body. So before demonstrating the novel sonic eye finger probe, I would like to do a comparison with the classic probe. In both instances, the image generated will come into the glass. And in this particular one, what I would like to reveal and show people is that once you place the probe on, one of the problems is that there is gel here, and the gel, and this is not a flat surface, it's a contour to the shoulder. And so I have to generate a type of tripod or a base with my hand here. If there's gel on here, sometimes that creates a slippery foot plate because you're trying to find the ideal position. One of the things we had talked about is once you find this position, you often will have the machine sitting here in a position such as this because you have to be able to get to it. And in order to get to it, what happens is I will then lean over, both myself and the patient will be watching, the, and therefore it comes across as if I'm actually treating the screen. I don't have the opportunity to view the, the patient without wearing the glass. With the glass, I can now do this, watch the patient, but the problem is, is that this is really quite, it, it moves a lot. It takes a lot of probe time to get really good at this. However, with the finger probe, one can actually place the finger probe on and get a base here. And besides the palpation, they can actually solid base so I can then turn and move and shut things off or create an image and save it or a video, etc. So that's one of the benefits of using the finger probe over the classic probe for the novice learner. This novel sonic eye finger probe allows for simultaneous feedback from one, surface and palpation anatomy, to stereostructural anatomy from the ultrasound image generated in the glass, and three, observing the patient's reaction during physical movements. I coined and created the term and technique triple feedback, which essentially combines old school palpation and observation skills with modern technology to dynamically view the stereostructural anatomy deep to the region being palpated. This allows the examiner to recognize crepitus and other pathological signs associated with movement during imaging. One can ask the patient to move into internal and external rotations and here 
we can see the patient grimacing during external rotation while viewing the supraspinatus tendon. The triple feedback technique would teach surface, stair structural, and imaging anatomy as the anatomy teacher of the future while bringing the patient and the physician in contact with each other as well as diminishing wasted time associated with visits to healthcare facilities. Okay, in conclusion, this study revealed that students adopted quickly to the technology and I might add with enthusiasm and successfully identified structures stereoscopically both in a static and dynamic attitude demonstrating that regarding imaging and surface anatomy this could be the anatomy teacher of the future which would complement the lab dissection experience. Thank you very much.